right, it is time to face the inevitable, the back of the camper. It is rotten as all get out. If you guys have been following along with my other previous videos of demoing this camper, then you will see how damaged every single place is on the back end. It's around the windows, it's in the ceiling, it's in the back corners, it's everywhere that you can see daylight everywhere. So let's go ahead and face the back. camper has a flat tire and when we brought home this camper we totally hit a tree in the back here. I'll show some um, pictures of that. But the first thing that we have to do is move this camper because look at all this, this huge tree. It's like all over my camper so there's no way I can get to these windows unless it's moved. So the first thing we're doing is switching out the tires and getting the camper moved. This should be fun. Straight. that tree really provides. It is so hot in here, but I did take out several windows and we opened up our door. So I told Keith, hopefully we will have a nice cross breeze for him to start rebuilding the back. Oh boy, let's get this going. nervous. I mean, every time a little bit more of that wall comes down, it is so wobbly. It has to be done and it's going to be fine, right? All right. I think we have a pretty good system going here. So Keith will tell Trevor what size he needs. And then Trevor goes over to the saw, cuts it and puts it right through the window. Plus we have a nice breeze going. This is great. We are 
are going to take advantage of this cool weather because in the forecast it is going to be hot again. So. that Keith was here um, working while the, there's overcast and it's actually kind of cool until he went through the camper. He's cutting out raw, or the rough wood and just made a hole in the camper. It's not bad, but still. rotten it has to come out we have no choice so yeah gets up and you can tell that he's home because he's like let's go let's get working he's been out here just working away on this camper and I am sitting on the couch with like half my coffee gone still trying to wake up so I threw on my work clothes and here I am starting I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> whatever well let's get to it that we're having is that we need to reinforce this because right here is going to be Evelyn's bed. It's going to be a bunk bed. And we are trying to reinforce this, but it is completely rotten. We tried to take this part out, but it apparently used to be a window. And so it's like all attached from the roof and we don't want to ruin the lining. So gonna try to patch it a little bit like put another two by four this way and then maybe build this out a little bit more to be more sturdy so hopefully that makes sense but that's kind of why we're struggling in this area a little bit
another day starting on the camper and the back is completely ripped out needed to be done but at this point you know have you ever been in a situation where you kind of second guess your life choices and I'm looking at this thinking oh my gosh like are we capable of rebuilding this I'm just not so sure I mean that's a lot of work I mean the whole back end is gone but Okay, one thing about me that you might not know is that I am one of those wives that is like, my husband can do anything. And so I have so much confidence in him that he can do this and he's ripping this out. And I'm like, I know you got this. I know you can do it. So this is proof right here how much of a destruction it is right now. And you just wait, it's gonna look awesome. I can't wait to show you guys when this is all done. It's gonna be amazing. But we have to take a little bit of a break uh, because it started raining. So, I mean, shoot, <laughs> there's water everywhere. So it's really gonna have to dry out. We were not expecting this rain. It was supposed to be in the 70s all day today and beautiful and we were really gonna conquer the day and this rain came out of nowhere. But thankfully it's kind of light. It's not like storming or anything. So we'll get back to work here in about an hour. <laughs> Are you determined to get this done? <laughs> me to build a fire and I thought I can't burn wet wood but yes I can I can build fire in the rain two times now I feel so proud of myself I'm sorry for not filming any more than I did because it was so frustrating. So this wall over here up at the top, um, we built it a little too high. Um, so you can see where um, the metal comes together um, at the top. There's a metal piece that goes at the top to seal everything in and it was the wall was just a little too high so between Keith myself and my son um, we were trying to figure out how the wall will meet at the with the ceiling and get the seam really nice so we were cutting up like all of these boards back here trying to ship like trim them down and then we had to shim it a little bit because we cut too much and it was just all over the place so this took entirely too much time but now it is finally rebuilt and we can start focusing on the back we did build a little bit of the floor back it's pretty rotten back there um, but we still have quite a bit of the floor left to pull up so hopefully um, in the next couple days we'll be able to finish the back but I can already tell it's gonna be a beast <laughs> it's gonna be hard just to keep everything lined up it's hard um, you know with the metal and everything like keeping it all lined up it's it is pretty challenging, so hopefully we can work together and get that built back soon so we can seal this up. I am ready to get it painted, so that's the next step.
a little bit more daylight left and we are trying really hard to get this back in all built up and sealed up so I'm so happy to see that Keith has not ran out of energy yet he has got this we're gonna get it done I just know it Okay, so it's a new day and we are looking at 70 degree weather again. And we look at how much progress we are making on this camper. Uh, it is totally coming together and I am so excited because I am already starting to think about paint colors for the exterior and I'm hoping that in a very soon video we will be able to show you us painting this beautiful camper. It is coming together. So we have all day and we are ready to knock this out. Okay, so we are back here but we are putting this big two by four up here because this is going to be Vera's bed another bunk bed so it's going to be kind of like an L shape of bunk beds for the girls um if I could get my plans together I'll see if I can show you kind of what the idea uh, of the floor plan is going to be and why we're supporting this as much as we are back here taking a lot of work, but we want to be safe and make sure it's supported. Alright guys, thought I'd catch this rare moment of oh. Hannah actually doing some work. This is a rare video. Breaking a sweat yet? If you all saw that, apparently she doesn't know how to use a sawzall. She's using the sawing motion as well as the trigger. It's done. So. Starting point 
because at the bottom, everything was just wonky, like just not lining up correctly. And so we feel that if we start at the top as our starting point, hopefully everything will match on down and our line will be perfect. So, and the windows will fit and that door will fit. That's what we're hoping. So take two. Another rare sighting today. And it's actually doing some more work. I don't know if you can see this. while I was um, really losing steam on the camper and losing motivation and thinking what have I gotten myself into and I really wanted to just scrap the project because I was just really discouraged and then Keith comes home and is like let's do this and he just put a fire on my little bitty spark of hope for this camper and just lit it up. And so now I'm on fire for this for this camper and ready to keep going. I mean, we finally got all the aluminum siding up and look at how pretty it looks in the back, all rebuilt. I'm so thankful that he just put that spark back in my vision for this camper. Well, 